Oh man, you guys remember Sonic? Ah, colors. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh boy, here we. Oh, I guess we're just going now. All right. Just welcome to Extra Play. Hi, I'm Dan. This is Sonic. Here we go. Hey, there he is. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to this little Sonic series of playthroughs that I kind of abandoned for a long while there because Dark Souls and stuff. But, uh, anyway, we're back to doing this now. D by the way, for those of you who were watching the Dark Souls stuff, that lore video I promised is still coming. I'm just working on it and it's taking a long time, but it's on its way, and the next Dark Souls series will come soon after that. I promise this isn't getting in the way of or slowing down the Dark Souls output. This is just stuff to. Wait, are we starting now? Sonic, you gotta... what? What's going on? I haven't played this Sonic game, by the way, so... What's going on? Oh! Oh, right! We're on the Sega CD now, so they can, like, actually store FMV and movies and stuff. Alright, this is kind of rad. I'll give it credit for this. Sonic, you're alright. Is this an actual like, pixel animated sequence, or is it like a really low resolution animation? Oh, it's gotta be a low res animation, right? It's neat, either way. I think it's kinda cool. Yeah! That music, too. Dang. Uh, wasn't this- isn't this the Sonic game that has like a completely different Ver like soundtrack for the US and Japanese versions, but like they're both great Is it is this the one I'm thinking of? Where you basically get two great Sonic soundtracks for the price of one Yeah Okay, like, as a kid I totally would have gone nuts over this I gotten hyped Sonic, you're all right. And, like, that wasn't terrible animation, either. For It, like, sort of in a... kids' TV show opening sequence kind of way. Like, not super expensive animation, but not bad for just a cool, neat thing to throw at the beginning of a Sonic game. So anyway, yes, here we are. Uh... So, so bullet points. Dark Souls is still coming back. This isn't, like replacing Dark Souls stuff in any way, that'll still be coming. This is just something to start putting out in the meantime while I'm working on that stupid, long lore video. Anyway, that's... <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over being sick, too. Am I playing now? Is this... No, no, this is the, this is the demo. Alright, let me, let me out. Anyway! We're gonna play some Sonic again, finally, because it's been ages. We played, like, two of them, and then, uh, <laughs> and then I just stopped for months. So apologies for that. Let's get back to it. And I have never played this particular Sonic game, and... Am I correct also in remembering that this is... One that was, like, developed... Sort of alongside... Uh... Sonic 2? Like, they were, or they were in development at the same time, rather? I feel like I remember hearing that somewhere. Ooh! I like that they, uh, I like that the enemies... Like, are destroyed and then, like, turn into flower, like into seeds that plant on the ground and become flowers. That's kind of cool. It's a neat little touch. All right, sorry, I'm not going fast. So let's let's get going fast. Ah! Perspective change! Okay. <laughs> so many new things to, uh, get used to. I wasn't expecting the third 2D Sonic game to throw me for a loop. This is different. Ooh, but it does have... Oh, look at that. See, different, uh... Teetering, waving their arms, looking like they're gonna, <laughs> like, tip over and fall animations, depending on whether you are facing away from or toward the ledge. That's neat. And it's several frames per animation as well. Ah, oh, good on them. That's neat. What was that? Past. Oh, right, this is... This is neat, because I've, like, I've heard of this Sonic game, and I've heard other people talk about it. I don't know what's going on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun, though. Whatever you say, Sonic. You and me, we're going places. Like here, wherever here is. We're... Alright. <laughs> oh, that's new. That's a new animation, too, right? Yeah, the little twist. 
I like it. Because it looks like the sprites themselves are relatively unchanged from Sonic 2. I'll have to look at some sprite sheets to... Hi, Metal Sonic. <laughs> Is he just sitting here curb stomping a squirrel? Alright, man. You do you. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm sparkling. Why am I sparkling? Is it, is it because I'm going at a certain speed, or did I...? Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, it was bound to happen. Ah! I am so lost. It's... Ooh, I like that. Sorry, I got distracted by a... by the cool little, uh, like, figure eight feet pattern, which I think is new. I don't remember seeing that in Sonic 2. Yeah, I like the look of that. There's some nice sprite animation here. Like, Sonic 2 and, like, 1 and 2 were already good-looking games, but... Ooh, okay. That's one downgrade. So if that's the spin dash now, then that's... that's sad. <laughs> like, or, it's not terrible. But, uh... Future. Sure. It's not terrible, but if, like, compared to that sweet, tilted tire peeling out with the smoke billowing behind Spin Dash. This is a bit of a downgrade in terms of a uh, look and sound, really. But I guess that would kind of make sense if it's being developed alongside or like by a different team at the same time as Sonic 2. Maybe that addition to the sprite sheet didn't like... Oh, it's the signs pointing toward the goal. I thought I'd cross the finish line. Uh... Yay, I'm so good at Sonic, you guys. Maybe that sprite from Sonic 2 just didn't make it into this one. Or maybe they had different tech limitations. Like, I wonder, so this is on a CD versus a cartridge, which means that they can have neat stuff like the, uh, little, uh, animated FMV thing at the beginning. But I wonder if, like, it affects load times, or what limitations or new capabilities that unlocked for them. This is where my lack of technical, like, hardware and old-school console specs knowledge works, really works against me, because that's the sort of thing that I would love to know. And I'm sure, actually, I bet one or two of you could probably explain this to me, so maybe you will. Boy, there's a lot to absorb <laughs> in this. Uh, whoa. Ha! Roundabouts. I'm sorry, it's it's all happening so fast. Sonic, you gotta slow down, buddy. This music is great, though. Jeez. So, like, what's the first Sonic game I'm gonna run into that doesn't have great music? Or that only has, like, one or two good tracks thrown in? gotta happen eventually. Maybe Adventure? Adventure has some good stuff. Sonic Heroes had some good stuff, too. Maybe Shadow? Hmm. Nah, getting ahead of myself. We're not there yet. But we'll get there. Boy, oh boy. Will we get there. Palm Tree Panic. Alright. Is that, is that the first... Is, is this basically the Green Hill Zone of... Sonic CD? Am I still in the first act, or whatever? Or zone, rather? I haven't looked carefully at this run cycle either to see if it's all that different from uh, Sonic 2. I feel like I see more, like, rotation back and forth on his face. Like, kind of into and out of three-quarters perspective as he runs. But that may be something that was in Sonic 2 as well that I'm just forgetting. Feels like it's been forever since I did this. See, like, I finished recording Dark Souls months ago. And I have not recorded anything else for this channel since. Because I've been busy working on lore videos and editing the Dark Souls stuff and working on that Dan Recommend series that I put on the EC channel for the holidays and... Been busy with other stuff. Haven't had time to make new stuff of my own here on Extra Play. Feels good to be back. And I'm realizing also that I really need to make the most of these early Sonic experiences. Hey, Robotnik. Cool robot? Hey, let me up. I don't want to step on your, uh... Ah! Yeah, that's exactly what I was 
Hoping to not do. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha again. Ha! You done? What was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, right. I should appreciate these early Sonic experiences. This, uh, golden age of... Oh, right. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I got really sick around New Year's, and it has taken a while to get better. <laughs> Seems like everybody has been getting sick in January. But yeah, Sonic's not gonna stay at this level of good for much longer, is he? We're about to hit the, uh, troublesome era. This looks like... Is that Amy? Is this, like, first Amy? Oh, it is! Well, hi, Amy. You look different. Whoa, there's some... Technicolor. <laughs> oh! Aww. Well. Bye, Amy. Yay! Whoa. Hard to talk and play a Sonic game at the same time. There's a there's a great deal to process if you've uh, <laughs> not experienced that particular Sonic game before. But yeah, Sonic's about to start getting less consistently good in a couple games here. In fact, he's he's going to start becoming consistently something else, which is a little sad. Like I'm half through the good days, and I know that there are still some good days yet to come. Whoa. What'd I do? Why'd this happen again? There's something fundamental to the Sonic CD experience that I have not fully grasped yet. But... Whoa. Easy. Easy. Tough jumps. Tough jumps. Eh. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay, I live. I'm guessing that I am running the, through these sign things at, like, a proper speed. Like, maybe a fast enough speed to have that sparkle trail behind me, and then it makes me jump through time, which is awesome. That was kind of cool. That moonwalk reverse thing. I, oh, I guess I'm... <laughs> I think I did it again, I guess. I didn't see the sign. Ah, whatever. I'm just along for the ride. Hey, we're back here. Okay, so if I ran through that fast enough, I would go back to the past, which was the other version. And I'm... in the future? Am I in the future? That sign says future. Am I in the present? Is there a present, a past, and a future? Hang on. Whoa! Oh, maybe if you just get running fast enough, you... I I'm sure this is basic knowledge to a lot of you folks, and apologies, but I, uh... Still kind of on the learning curve here. Of these... ...complex... ...sonic mechanics. Whoa. Whoa. Shades of Casino Zone. Help! Ah! Lost. <laughs> no! Oh yeah, another reason that I've not been recording as much for extra play is that I've been, uh... Recording other stuff not for extra play specifically. Oh, come on, get me out of this area. Thank you. Uh, so I decided to reshuffle the order of the uh, extra frames episodes that I've been planning, and uh, I'm trying to make a big extra uh, frames series on Final Fantasy animation since it's like the 21st or 30th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series, and that's really exciting and cool, and I'd love to get that big set of videos out uh, this year, for that reason, but... It's, like, by far the biggest Extra Frames project, and maybe the biggest... Extra Credits video series project I've... ever taken on, so... <laughs> it's taking a while. It basically involves playing and recording every Final Fantasy- like, every numbered Final Fantasy game- Get me out of here, please. Sonic. Sonic, come on. Help. Sure. Sonic. Yay, okay. 
It basically means recording every Final Fantasy game. <laughs> uh, which, which is taking a while. I'm enjoying it, but boy is it taking a while. Hasn't left as much time for doing stuff like this. It does feel nice to be doing this, though. And I'm- I would be, like, yeah, I could technically be recording, uh, the Final Fantasy stuff for extra play as well, but it takes way longer to, uh, record that stuff, like, with me talking and audio and setting up- setting up all the mics. It's- it would take even longer if I did it that way, so I'm just playing through all those on my own time and playing badly here, now. <laughs> that frame rate is really dropping, I'm wondering- and I'm willing to bet that wasn't how the original game ran. I'm willing to bet that's my machine. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> so, apologies for that. May just be my machine not handling Sonic CD very well. <laughs> it's okay. I just keep hunting for additional, uh, frames of animation that we haven't seen yet. Like, we already found some. Like, this stuff all looks more or less the same, and if I don't move for a while, I bet he'll do the same standard impatient tapping foot thing. There he is. Yeah, a lot of those are, if not the exact same sprites, then very slight tweaks to the, uh... Sonic 2 sprite artwork. Does he do anything different, or does he just stay in that? Ah, I bet he just stays in that. Anyway, forward! Or backward. Alright, Sonic, whatever you want to do. It's your game. Okay. Ah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Gotta go fast. Gotta progress. How have you folks been? It really does feel like it's been ages. Like, I don't know when this is gonna come out, but when I'm recording this, it's been... at least a month since Side Quest Season 2 wrapped up. Maybe, probably more, more like a month and a half, two months. And I finished recording that even earlier than... What am I doing here? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this, uh... whole thing. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, good. I'm on platforms. Yeah, all right. Whoa. Oh. I'm going through time. Is there... Is there some strategy to time traveling in this, or is it just kind of mostly like an aesthetic difference? Like, I'm sure the level layout is different from, like, future and to past versions. Just wondering, like, is there a strategic reason to time travel at certain points, or is it just kind of choosing which version of the level you want to go through? It's cool either way, I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. Anywho. Let's say we continue this next time, huh? I'll be back again soon. We will see how much further I can get into Sonic CD. I, I hope it's further than this level, or that's going to be a really short episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon!